everyone, Suzanne here. I hope you're all well and welcome to Sew Custom. Today's video is going to be the making of this little number. So if you're interested in seeing that, then let's get started. So starting with the fabric, I'm using a four-way stretch lightweight jersey. And on to the cutting out, starting with my front. I have my fabric on the fold underneath. And this pattern, I started with my knit block. I've just given myself a kimono sleeve and straightened out the side seam. I just have a couple of notches, one on the center front and one at the hem. And then onto the back, exactly the same thing here again. I have my fabric on the fold underneath. And just a couple of notches here again so at the hem and at the center back and then onto the sleeve I have two layers of fabric underneath my pattern piece my sleeve is three quarter length and just one notch at the center and that's all my cutting out done so the first thing I'm going to stitch is my shoulder seams so I have my front bodice over my back, right sides together, and I'm stitching at my one centimeter seam allowance on the overlocker. And that's how that looks. So pleased with that. And then straight on to the neck band. So I've just measured my bodice front and back at the neck. I've cut myself a strip of fabric to that length and then taken off two centimeters. This contrast fabric that I'm using here, it's two inches wide. I have folded it down its length and pressed it. And now I'm just going to join that to make a ring at the short ends. So I went ahead off camera and stitched that, pressed open that seam, and then folded the whole thing in half again down its length. And I'm now just going to quarter it and I'm going to mark each quarter with a pin. And this contrast fabric that I'm using, it's a jersey as well, but it's not just as stretchy as the fabric I'm using for the bodice. So that's why I've only taken off two centimeters. If it was a much more stretchy fabric, I would have maybe taken off four centimeters. So now just pinning the neckband to the bodice. So I'm matching up the notches you see me cut earlier with my quadrants on my neck band piece. So the notch at the center back first of all, notch at the center front, and then both of the shoulder seams. And now I'm ready to tack that in place. So I'm at the sewing machine this time. I'm sewing within my one centimeter seam allowance because I, I just want to run some stitches along this just to hold it in place. So this won't be my final line of stitches. This is just to hold everything in place and make sure everything is where it should be. So I'm lining up all of my raw edges and between each of my pins, I'm just pulling the neckband just slightly making sure those raw edges line up the whole way around. So I'm not pulling the bodice here, just the neckband itself. And that will help everything to lie nice and flat. So that's my neckband tacked in place. Now I want to sew it in place. So I'm going to do that on the overlocker. And I'm going to stitch this time at my one centimeter seam allowance. So my tacking stitches will be cut off here in the overlocker and it'll give a nice neat finish in underneath. So now I just want to press those overlock stitches towards the bodice and then I want to run some top stitches right the whole way along the edge of the band. And to do that I'm going to use a twin needle and I'm starting at the centre back 
I'm just showing here I've pressed those overlock stitches in underneath and I'm just stitching directly on top of those So I'm just going really slowly here, making sure I'm sticking just about a millimeter or two away from the neckband itself. And that will make sure that I catch those overlock stitches in underneath. And you'll see that in a second. So that's my twin needling all in place, nice and neat. And then underneath, I've just caught those overlock stitches and that'll help everything to lie nice and flat and be really neat. So I'm super pleased with that. And now on to the sleeves. So I've done the same thing here again. I've just cut myself a two inch wide piece of the contrast fabric, folded it in half lengthways, and then I've pinned that to the top of the sleeve, matching up the raw edges. And I'm just here tacking that in place at the sewing machine. And I'm tacking everything first because I want to make sure everything is super accurate. So I want to, to make sure that I have the same amount of contrast fabric at the neckband and at the sleeve. So they're both the same widths. So just pinning that in place, matching up the notch you've seen me cut on my sleeve to the shoulder. And then pinning each of the edges. And then just like I did on the neckband, I'm going to take this to the overlocker and stitch at my one centimeter seam allowance. I'm trying to make sure that I am sticking to my one centimeter seam allowance. As I say, I want the same amount of contrast fabric to be visible the whole way across. And that's how that looks, so pleased with that. So now I've just went ahead and finished that seam in the same way as I finished the neckband. So I've just twin needled those overlock stitches in underneath just to give a really nice neat finish. And now just to close up the bodice and the sleeve. So I'm going to stitch from the hem of the sleeve right the whole way down to the hem of the bodice. And when I get to the contrast piece at the sleeve, I want to make sure that it lines up perfectly. <laughs> so I'm going nice and slow across that piece. And you'll see how that looks in a second. And then I just have a couple of last things to do. So it's the hem of the sleeve and the hem of the bodice. So here I've just pressed up my hem by my four centimeter hem allowance. And I'm just pinning that in place. And now I want to create somewhat of a cuff at the bottom of the bodice. So I'm just turning that hem up inside the bodice. So at the edge, I've got a raw edge and a folded edge. And I'm just going to sew on the overlocker the whole way around, just like you see here. And when I'm doing this, I'm sewing right on the edge and I'm making sure I'm catching the fold and the raw edge and you'll see this now this will give somewhat as i say a cuff effect so it's just a quick and easy way to do that which i really like and same thing as i've done before for all of the seams pressing the overlock stitches towards the bodice and twin needling those in place just to help everything lie nice and flat and super neat So that's that done. So really neat from the outside and from the inside you'll see those stitches are all nicely caught up in underneath. Exactly the same thing on the hem of the sleeves. So I've pinned it in place exactly the same way as I pinned the hem of the bodice, turned it all in underneath, sewed it on the overlocker and now I just top stitch that in place. And from the underneath super neat. And that is this little top complete. So just showing here the neckband, all nicely top stitched. My contrast piece of the sleeve, same thing, nicely top stitched. 
my cuff at the end of my sleeve, twin needled around that seam, and exactly the same thing on the hem. So super quick, super easy little top to do. And this is how it looks on. So I love this top because it's so quick, so easy. It has a nice bit of interest with the contrast pieces. I love the length of it. I love the fit. I love how casual it is, but you could do this in a different fabric and make it a little bit more dressed up. I love it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. And I shall see you on Friday in my next one. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye folks.